Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So, today I wanted to do an updated reading regarding the um, murders of Abigail Williams and Liberty German in light of Richard Allen's arrest. Um, the police have been very closed lipped or tight lipped about um, what information was it that connected him to their murders. So, I want to look into that today and see if we can get some insight. So, let's get to it. Spirit guides, guardian angels, please join me. Wrap me in your white light. Keep me safe from anything negative or anything that wishes me harm. Spirit guides, can you please show me with the tarot? What information or evidence connected Richard Allen to the murders of Abigail Williams and Liberty Jordan? Can you please show me with the tarot? What information or evidence connected Richard Allen? To the murders of Abigail Williams and Liberty Challenge. Please show me my right here. So we have the King of Wands in the reverse. Um, the Justice card in the reverse. We have the Ten of Cups here. The King of Swords here. We have the Two of Wands in the reverse. Jordan, where'd he go? Hey. And we have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse as well. And on the bottom is the High Priestess in the reverse. So I am going to take a couple of moments with my cards. I'm going to meditate so I can get the most insight. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about it. Okay, so the first thing that I see here is the two kings, which represent in a reading together is a partnership of some kind um because the king of wands is reversed this is going to be a partnership where one of the individuals or one person wields more power and control than the other um so this is also related to um not being forthcoming um, out for his own self-interest. So, in order to block or make this energy off balance, this partnership off balance, they needed to restrict their communication and ability to um, talk and, you know, further plan and navigate forward. So, the Justice card in reverse is having to be accountable for an action, um, someone trying to get away with murder, not, uh, wanting to avoid justice, avoid, um, accepting accountability, um, for an action that, or behavior that he did. Um, this is related to family, children, family, um, home life. So, this can also relate to an injustice in the family life. Him being domineering, abusive, violent to his family, um, trying to kind of, because he doesn't have control over certain things, it makes him overly controlling, um, overly abusive, overly violent, and because he wants to control everybody and everything around him, 
so that he can avoid the justice. So in order to get the other people in the family life that already with the high priestess in reverse, there's a woman energy that is well aware, which given the family card here and the justice card in reverse here, um, they needed to isolate her from him because, you know, getting her out from under his controlling thumb um, and a little bit of freedom and their ability to communicate with her without having to deal with him. She might be prompted to tell the truth. But this also relates to this King of Swords energy. This per His partner has more power than him. So I know a lot of people um, speculated that the, um, the fat dude <laughs> who got arrested and that has the dad and they went to Vegas together. Oh my God, I can't even think of him. But then they feel like he made a deal, which is entirely possible. However, there is someone that he counted on for money. He did something for money. He helped with he helped with the murders or covering it up. I don't think that he was necessarily um, the main person, if that makes sense. I feel like he was paid off with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, by a richer, more powerful man who held all the cups. And he can't help him now. Because he's restricted him, the other partner who is in higher power, a higher position, um, lots of money, this male figure can't help him. Financially or otherwise, because if he does, it impl implicates him. So it puts this guy in a bad predicament where he'll most likely with his um, with the help of his partner and significant other he will start telling the truth and come be more forthcoming about what the truth is if that makes sense I hope I'm making sense I really do hope I'm making sense to you guys. Um, I feel like the swords is a card of law enforcement, judges, military, um, you know, police, all that. I, but I do feel like it's possible that the man is married, in, his daughter married into the family possibly. He somehow married into this family and paperwork records of financial stuff would show um, and lead show the connection between them there is proof um, so sacrifice you gonna make a decision So this woman energy, which might be his wife, is the key to unlocking the mysteries. As in her, she has two people that her loyalty lies to: possibly her father, possibly her her daughter's husband. Allegedly, in my opinion etc etc her loyalties lie with both of them she's got to make a choice what's the right option right choice to make so let me know what you guys think love ya